captain since 1927, as we've suggested. In his own words, he's going to tell us what he saw. Whether it was or wasn't the Caborosaurus. It's still left to speculation. Want me to Please answer? do. Well, Please do. we don't know what it was. It was something I've never seen before. And uh, it's called Cadbrosaurus because the first time it was seen was in Cadbury Bay in Victoria. Absolutely. Yeah. Early, early 30s? Yeah, early 30s, yes. And <clears throat> whatever it was, it's something that none of us have seen before. And as a matter of fact, in the book that I've shown you, shown you is a write-up by another sea captain, a friend of mine. As a matter of fact, he relieved me when I was captain on the beaver. He got a, a piece of a live, uh, well, it was dead, mm -hmm. but found it on the beach. It still had meat on it. Interesting. And there's a picture in the book of it there. Whatever it is, yes. for a better name, we call it Caddy. Yes, yes, that's right. So when the one we saw, we know it was 40 feet long because it was lying in a bay where we were on the beach shooting ducks. And uh, I shot a duck and it fell in the water. So the, my friend that was with me, Norman Georgeson, he ran back to the house and got a, they lived on the beach. He went back and he got a small punt, two man punt. We went out to get this duck. And while we were out getting the duck, this thing came up and just grabbed it with his mouth and swallowed it. That was the end of that. So we took off in a hurry. Yes, of course. But we measured the bay afterwards where we'd first seen it lying there, whatever it was, and the bay was 40 feet. So we knew it was 40 feet long. Well, then we go on to get a lot of witnesses. Otherwise, they'd tell us we were full of prunes <laughs> or better. Or better. Or better. And uh, we got 13 people all together lined up to see it. And they all saw it. And incidentally, one of them was Mr. Jerry Parkin, a great friend of mine. And he was the Justice of the Peace, by the way. J.P. Jerry Parkin. Jerry Parker. Yes. So, <coughs> excuse me. He, he made a very good witness. Because whatever it was, all these people saw it. Yes. And then the next time, I believe, is when I was in Victoria. I saw it, and I, I'm down from South Pender Island with some of the local people from South Pender Island, one of them being Mrs. Spaulding. She was one of the really old timers. Her father was the, one of the factors for the Hudson's Bay Company in the founding of Kamloops. Yes, of course. And, uh, so I told Mrs. Spaulding, I said, come on, Mrs. Spaulding, we'll drive around Dallas Road and I'll show you Caddy. Kidding her, of course. Yes. We went around Dallas Road. By gosh, there it was. There it was. There it was. I pointed to it and I said, you see that, Mrs. Spaulding? Yes, she said, I'm sure glad. Then we rushed over to the Times newspaper in Victoria because there was a fellow friend of mine there who was a reporter cameraman. So he came galloping out to see it, but unfortunately, of course, when he got there, it had gone. It was gone. Gone down. But he took the pictures of us anyway. He wanted to sell papers. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And uh, he, uh, he was always keeping in touch with us. The next time I saw it, it was in Bedwell Harbor, South Bender Island. We were down there on boat day for mail day. And I was down there. And Mrs. Spaulding's sister, one of the Mackay sisters, who I was working for at the time, helping them around the law, the house they had, the log house, uh, she said, look at that, look at that, look at that. And there it was, swimming up Bedwell Harbor. Incredible. It's incredible, whatever it was, whatever we, it was. we don't know. We're not telling the Loch Ness Monster. Of course. But Would you be so kind as to describe what it was? That well, you it looked like the head looked like a horse, a big horse head, with sort of a mane hanging down a little bit, but more not not more skin than yes. not hair, and it was undulating in the water, not swimming like a fish, and it was looked scaly from what we could see. And as I say, it was 40 feet long. Interesting. And it could be like a small snake. You see a small snake. It, its body 
gradually tapered down to a tail, like a snake's tail. It's very serpent-like, yes. Yes, yes. So that's why they call it the serpent, I suppose. Yes. That's about the best description I can give you of it. Well, that's fascinating. So, well, so it's true. I guarantee yes. that. Whatever it was, yes. because lots of people have seen it. And now, as I say, this uh, captain friend of mine, he has seen it, or seen what, whatever it was, but it was dead on the beach. He was up the coast on the job, and uh, he went and picked it up and took it in to the fishery wharf, and they've taken pictures of it that are in the book there. Yes, yes. So that's the best I can tell you. Interesting. Well, that's just a, that's fascinating. Well, Mr. Andrews, uh, Captain Andrews, um, if you would be so kind as to maybe elaborate a little bit more about what was the day like? On, on it the was a, a typical fall winter day, gray day. It wasn't raining, it had been. And that way we saw it was in Boundary Pass between Canada and the United States. The water there is pretty calm because it's well sheltered by the American Gulf Islands yes. and the Canadian Gulf Islands. And uh, no, it wasn't a bad day at all. It, it, it wasn't warm, but it wasn't cold. Yes. And it wasn't blowing at all. No, no, we, we managed to get out there in that little punt. <laughs> well, of course, of course, exactly. So visi visibility was quite good. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Exactly. An experienced man like yourself um, could certainly not have been fooled by per se, like a seal or a no, 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 whale. No, 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 of course not. <laughs> of course not. No, no, heavens no. It's something I've never seen before. Yes. And the other 13 people had never seen before. And the other 13 people. And one of them being a justice of the peace. Yes, yes, of <laughs> So course. we didn't have to go for before a justice of the <laughs> peace. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's what I, the best I can tell you. Excellent. Well, we thank you. Thank you very much. You're here. very welcome indeed, believe me. Now, people that don't believe me, I don't mind. I'm just telling you what I saw and, and the other people saw. And uh, it's been seen many places. And of course, they've been booed down. But I can't say any more than that. I, was, I don't drink, so it wasn't <laughs> that. <laughs> thank you again. We're, we're, once again, thank you very much. You're very welcome, I'm sure. These are my old friends that drive me crazy. Yeah. Well, he speaks very, very highly of you. Oh, no, Even no. Even behind your back. Oh, well, no, that's thank you. <laughs>